Ash has caught a variety of Pokemon over his journey, each with their own distinct designs, battling strategies, and personalities. But what if Ash's teams were different? What if I had to use an assortment of Pokemon Ash never had caught to create brand new teams for the GOAT himself? Well, that's what I'll be tackling in today's video, as we go over all the regions to give Ash brand new teams, culminating in me giving him a team for Paldea. Before we go any further, I just want to establish two ground rules. One, I'm allowed to keep one Pokemon from the original team alongside Pikachu. I won't do this for every team, but this video is me basically rewriting these teams as if it was actually what happened in canon, meaning that I would like to see some Pokemon still prominent within this reworked version of the anime. Two, evolved forms of the original Pokemon on Ash's teams are acceptable. Technically, they are new Pokemon, so it's fair game. Like, for example, let's use Corphish. If I wanted Ash to have a Crawdont, that's absolutely allowed. I also want to make it clear these teams are just for fun. This isn't leading into a full-on rewrite of the anime, because if I'm being real, I just don't have the time for that. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. I also have a ton of Pokemon rewrites on the channel already, so please check those out. With that said, the Pokemon I choose today are completely subjective, either being Pokemon I believe Ash should have caught, ones that I think fit him, or just Pokemon I find cool and put on the team, cause why not? My video, my rules. With that said, let's start off with what is now Ash's OG team, Encanto. For this series, I chose a team consisting of Pikachu, Charizard, Poliwrath, Gengar, Sandslash, and Gyarados. Half of this team consists of Pokemon I think Ash should have had. Meanwhile, the other half are Pokemon I kept and Gyarados, cause I said so. Also, Charizard ain't leaving, I love him too much. Moving on to Johto, we have Pikachu, Typhlosion, Quagsire, Tyranitar, Scizor, and Espeon. I won't lie, this team was really fun to make. I think Typhlosion fits Ash the best, which is why I kept it. And let's be real, Ash was always meant to have a Tyranitar and Espeon. Quagsire and Scizor were Pokemon I felt just fit Ash, so they're here too. With that said, let's move on to Generation 3, with Ash's Hoenn team. Pikachu, Swampert, Spinda, Agron, Tropius, and Absol. This team consists of all new Pokemon. I choose Swampert because while I like Sceptile more, I think this Pokemon could also work for Ash's Hoenn Ace. Spinda, Absol, and Agron are all Pokemon I think fit Ash, and Tropius is here because I like it. Also, going back to Absol, he was in the openings and they were teasing him all the time, and Ash never caught him. He wasn't even like, involved within the anime itself, so come on, give the man an Absol. But enough of that, because we now have to go talk about Ash's Sinnoh team. Pikachu, Infernape, Lucario, Floatzel, Abomasnow, and Garchomp. This team is mainly evolutions. I think all the Pokemon, especially Garchomp, would have been really cool additions to the OG team. Abomasnow is kind of the outlier here, but I thought it would be a nice touch. And instead of giving Ash a Lucario in Gen 8, let's just give it to him here. Makes more sense anyway. I mean, you had that whole Riolu storyline, so just give him that one, I guess. I mean, it works. And you had Lucario in the Mystery of Mew not that long ago either, so yeah. Lucario should have been in Gen 4. Next up, we have Unova, with Ash's new team being Pikachu, Samurott, Braviary, Darmanitan, Beartick, and Excavalier. Unova had some awesome Pokemon that Ash just never utilized. Braviary is a sick-ass bird, Darmanitan 100% fits Ash, and Beartick and Excavalier are here because I think they're cool. Also, you knew Samurott was gonna be here, Oshawott ain't going anywhere, and we're giving it all the power. That's why he's the GOAT! <laughs> Moving on to Kalos, we have Pikachu, Greninja, Aegislash, Go-Goat, Pyroar, and Tyrantrum. Greninja absolutely had to stay for both narrative purposes and marketing. I mean, this dude is the XY anime. As for the other Pokemon, they were just cool Pokemon I decided to give Ash, with the only one I actually wanted Ash to catch originally being Aegislash. Still, I think it's a pretty cool team, and I find it to be pretty solid. Anyways, it's time for Ash's Alola team. Pikachu, Decidueye, Toucanon, Lycan Lycanroc, and Alolan Executor. 
Decidueye has always been my favorite of the Alola starters, and Lycanroc's new form was promotional material for Ultra Sun and Moon, so he stays too. Toucan and Nipissimian are Pokemon I feel fit Ash, and Alolan Executor I felt like would have been a really cool, fun addition. Although, Rip and Cinnaroar, I swear I love you, buddy. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Now it's time for the most original part of the video, with Ash's Galar team. Pikachu, Cinderace, Dredna, Corviknight, Phalanx, and Ice-Q. Using only Galar Pokemon wasn't hard, as most of these Pokemon are ones that absolutely fit Ash. Cinderace, Dredna, and Corviknight being in that category. I thought Phalanx and Ice-Q would be interesting additions too. I won't lie though, the Penguin is only here because it's one of my favorite Gen 8 Lons, and I wanted Ash to have it ever since I laid my eyes on it. Regardless, this is my Galar team, and that's final. So now we're moving into Uncharted territory, with Ash's final team, his Paldean team. Pikachu, Armourouche, Palafin, Cyclozar, the Dunsparce, and Iron Valiant. I decided to give Ash no starter because in an ideal world, Ash's adventure would be along the Horizons cast, and I love them with their respective starters. Since I can't give Ash Maridon or Coridon, Cyclozar is a good substitute, and Armourouge and Palafin were always going to be here for me, they fit Ash to a T. I also wanted to give Ash a Paradoxmon, and Iron Valiant is my favorite one, so he's here too. Finally, the Dunsparce is here because Ash needs the satisfaction of finally having a Dunsparce. Like, come on! You didn't give him that in Journeys, why not? He's been trying to get a Dunsparce for, for who knows how long! With that said, that's all the teams I came up with. Let me know what teams you would give Ash in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. And with that said, to enjoy even more high-quality Pokemon content, check out the videos on screen right now.